Interpretation of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we have started to have interpretation of Quran. Very short and easy interpretation for all the people. We were talking in Surah and chapter in Shaqaq. Chapter in Shaqaq is revealed in Mecca. Like other chapters that have been revealed in Mecca, basically it is talking about the judgment day and situation of people over there. How some people enjoy their life over there. And they see, when they see their deeds and the reaction and reflex of their deed, they enjoy and some people are going to suffer. We reached to the verse 7. Please listen to verse 7 to 9. Allah Taala says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ Then whose is given his account? in his right hands. فَسَوْفَ يُحَاسَبُ حِسَابًا يَسِيرًا These people truly will receive the easy reckoning. وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا and will return unto his folk in joy. We understand from these verses that in judgment day, some people will take their files and the result of their deeds with their right hands and some with the left hands. Those who are taking with the right hands are going to have very good time and enjoy and those that they are taking with the left hand are going to suffer. We have a narration that Imam says, whoever have three attributes he is going to enjoy on judgment day what are these three attributes this narration is narrated in interpretation of quran nur sagalain imam says ta'ti man haramak tasilu man qata'ak wa ta'fu an man zalamak Whoever is ready to give to others and help others, but those people that imprived him. It means the time that he asked for help, they deprived him and they didn't give him anything. But in the time that he is going to be questioned and get for some help, he is going to help them. This is a very good point. Imam didn't say that the person that who is going to help the others. Imam focus on this issue. The person that who is deprived, he is going to give and help the same person. It means it has a special value. Because if somebody helps you, and in return you help the same, it means you did something the same. Of course, a person helped, and of course, reaction of that is to help him but sometimes he is going to deprive you and reject you he doesn't answer you properly but when you are be asked and questioned for help you are not ready to reject and help him a person that he has a blood he is a blood relative and he has such a connection and relation to you, but he has disconnected his relation. You contact him, he's not going to return your call. 
you visit him, he's not going to visit you. For such a person, if you continue to visit him and go to him and do your responsibility, this person is going to have very easy reckoning in judgment day. وَتَعْفُوا أَمَّنْ ظَلَمَكْ a person who is ready to forgive his brother at the same time that his brother oppressed him. So these three attributes, it means help somebody who deprived you and also visit somebody that has blood relative, blood relation with you. Visit him at the same time that he disconnected the relation and also forgive somebody who oppressed you. Such a people are the people definitely in judgment day are going to have a wonderful and easy time. <laughs>
We should not forget that in chapter Abbas, verse 34 to 36, when Allah Taala was talking about Judgment Day, Allah said, يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ Judgment Day is the day that a person flee from his father, his brother, his wife, husband. It means everybody has his problem and nobody is ready to take care of somebody else because of his situation and his problems. At the same time, we read in this verse that يَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا It means some people run away and flee from each other, but at the same time, some people return to their folk, and they are in joy. They are happy. We should ask Allah to help us in such a day that many people run away from each other to see our parents, our children, our brothers and sisters, and enjoy. but who is given his account behind his back Allah started to talk about the other group soon he will cry for perdition and be thrown to a scorching fire إِنَّهُ كَانَ فِي أَحْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا He will really or verily lived among his family, his friends with, his ha with happiness and in joy. إِنَّهُ ظَنَّ أَنْ لَنْ يَهُورُ He verily deemed that he would never return to Allah. بَلَا إِنَّ رَبَّهُ كَانَ بِهِ بَصِيرًا Nay, but surely his Lord is ever looking on him. Allah says this group of people are those that in the world they were thinking or guessing that they are not going to die. They are not going to Allah. And in that day they are going to suffer. But these people were those people who were happy among their family in the world. But in Judgment Day, it will be reversed. We will see that in verse 9, Allah Tabarakwa Ta'ala says, وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَحْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا When Allah is talking about good people who have taken their file with their right hand, and here Allah says about the second group, إِنَّهُ كَانَ فِي أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا He was happy among his family and his folks. So one time is happiness, but it is negative. Allah blames. He was happy among his family in the world, but the result was bad. It was temporary. But the first group, in judgment day, they are happy, but it is permanently. So sometimes Allah is talking about happiness, but enjoy the people to achieve it. And sometimes Allah is talking about happiness, but warning the people not to take care of that, pay attention to that because it is temporary and it is going to finish any time. When Allah Taala says, إِنَّهُ ظَنَّ this group of people or this person think or guessed that he is not going to return. Yahur is from Hur, it means return. He was thinking that he is not going to return to Allah. 
There are several messages that we can understand from these verses. One, when Allah says, إِنَّهُ ظَنَّ أَن لَنْ يَهُورُ It means, if we want to understand the reason and cause for misfortune, it is neglection of Allah and neglection of Judgment Day. When we neglect from the future and resurrection day and the day that we are going to take our file, either with right hand or left hand, definitely we are going to suffer. When Allah Taala says, "Innahu ghanna an lan yahur," Allah wants to emphasize that even those people who reject the judgment day, it is based on guess, not based on reasoning, because nobody can bring the reason or good argument about re rejecting a judgment day. It is impossible. But guess, yes, it is possible, and non-believers only have a guess. When Allah Taala says, "Innahu kana fi ahlihi masrura, innahu zanna an lan yahur," it means Allah wants to say that the roots of the problem in Judgment Day is this world. When we forgot Allah and we disobeyed Allah, then in Judgment Day we are going to result. Allah Taala, when He is talking about good people, Allah says, "Yadunnuna innahum mulaqu Rabbihim." In chapter Bagara, verse forty-six, the believers are those people that they were guessing, they were thinking and focusing on that. That in Judgment Day they are going to visit Allah, but it was important for them. But here. Allah says, إِنَّهُ ظَنَّ أَن لَنْ يَهُورُ Some people, they even didn't guess that in Judgment Day, they are going to visit Allah. We ask Allah to help us, to do something for our future, to save something for the future, and to have a good credit and make a good credit with Allah Taala for the day that none of the credit banks and none of the people, family, friends, nobody is going to help us unless the credit that we made between ourselves and Allah. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.